Hello everybody. So, uh, in this small tutorial, uh, we'll be covering a bit of uh, Quen Image Generator. Now, the main issue people have with uh, Quen Image is that uh, it's very consistent. That is uh, the same prompt, no matter the settings, the seed, uh, and the sampler, tend to be the the same image the same character unless you otherwise specify it's very sensible to prompt so if you need something different you need to prompt it so most people tend to find it as a bug i tend to find it as a feature but anyway for the kind of people that want that variety that uh, they used to have uh, with uh, other models I made this uh, custom workflow where I use uh, Quen 2.5 VL 3B instruct language model to process the prompt. For example, we have this prompt here, uh, realistic nice in blah 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 blah, that gives uh, gives uh, an image like this. However, instead of manually tweaking it, I uh, made this custom node, this custom uh, workflow, where it takes the prompt and rewrites it, keeps the essence of what you wrote, and uh, makes it more beautiful and eye candy uh, in a long and detailed prompt. Now, if you download the workflow, all you need to do is go to manager and uh, install missing custom nodes for the custom nodes that are, will be missing from your uh, workflow. The Quen model should download automatically after you install the custom nodes for it. Also, please notice that I'm using uh, Quen Image Edit 2509 instead of Quen Image. Uh, normal model for image generation. I prefer the edit model. I think it's more uh, advanced. And uh, yeah, that's what it does. So here's the sample. This is the old prompt and this is uh, the new prompt. As you can see, it's very long, very structured, very uh, detailed. And it's always different, so every time you hit run, you'll get a new image. Like uh, you can see, it's similar, it keeps the base prompt, but it's not the same image. The results are quite good. You can try this with, uh, let's, let's see, let's take an older image, this one for example. Take the prompt, paste it, no, not here, here, and see what we get. I'm not going to be interrupting the recording, so you'll have to have patience. Also, notice that I'm using the lining uh, LoRa to just get four steps and also uh, against common wisdom I use 0 0.8 uh, CFG scale this is the best I could get without artifacts so it loses the plastic look specific to Quen image also the sampler is DPM PP2M SDA there's no particular reason for that I found it uh, the best with less artifacts Okay, let's run and see what we get. This is another session I did. using the variation generator. Also, uh, another thing in the workflow is you can switch this with this one here 
and it's basically a mid journey fire it takes a very basic prompt like a banana and it improves it as much as possible but you can customize your own way use this as a language model yeah, like you do with uh, ChatGPT to, to improve your prompts basically that's what it does but instead of uh, going to another tab using ChatGPT or maybe you don't have uh, paid chat GPT that is uh, good you can use this instead see we're already having a first variation On my 3090 card, it takes around one minute per image generation. It's not that fast, but it's way faster than uh, native Queen image, which would be like uh, five minutes or so. This is pretty nice. Now let's find another one. Uh, this one. Top down photo of two lovers seen from above, both wearing gas masks, blah blah blah. Okay. But basically, you get the idea. You can find the workflow, download the link uh, in the video description or in the comment section on Facebook. I have to say that when uh, Quen image uh, and image edit are amazing, amazing models. Very, co very cohesive to the prompt. You can make really, really, really complex prompts, and it will follow it compared to basically anything I have seen in uh, the uh, open source space until now. nice oh and uh, since we're here this is another trick I'm using for images uh, I'm using SRPO model as a refiner as you can see, Queen Image has this thing where the faces look kind of plastic and uh, doll-like. And I pass through this uh, model as a refiner. Uh, these are the settings for it, for the case sampler. Basically, I convert the input image to latent image and feed it to the case sampler uh, and 0 0.25 uh, denoise and you'll see that the end result is going to be way better than uh, the input this is not bad it's just weird you can see the i don't know what this is but it looks like a doll it looks like plastic so we'll just run it through this uh, uh refiner I do this for all my point images to get uh, photorealism. You can use LoRa's for photorealism, but LoRa's tend to one give artifacts and two decrease the creativity of the model because they're only trained on a very small amount of uh, data, and you cannot go wild with it. So to keep the creativity and uh, the performance of the coin model and the artistic capabilities I just use this as a refiner for uh, basically skin tones and uh, stuff 
you'll see the difference right away. I can just show you the workflow. So again, I am using it with uh, where is it? Turbo Alpha LoRa. So it's only eight steps. And here we go. This is before and this is after as you can see it actually looks like a human person and not a doll yeah let's do this for another photo shall we like this woman here uh, still looks like a doll Run it through the refiner. I'm gonna be adding the refiner workflow also. But you'll have to find your way in uh, finding the models, the missing models in this case. Um, SRPO. SRPO is a very nice model, it's basically flux, but uh, more realistic. I'm sure it will do a wonderful job. Yep, the skin tones and everything uh, are better now. It looks like a, an actual photo. This is not bad, but you get the doll look. Even the the fabric of the clothing is uh, better. Yeah, actually, even the letters and the cards are better after the refiner. You can improve this, so you can uh, integrate this into your own pipeline and use the existing prompts instead of uh, nothing like I use here. So if you have uh, some details that get lost uh, in translation, if you have the original prompt and use this as a refiner at the end of your workflow, you'll get uh, better results without losing uh, something that uh, is essential. But uh, all in all, you don't really need a prompt and you don't need uh, to integrate it in an existing pipe. I mean, it does the work very well as a standalone uh, workflow for the finishing touches. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe and everything. Maybe join my Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.